Hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> welcome to the newbies. I've got a couple of uh, new people. Uh, I want to say hi and thank you to everyone who puts a lovely comment. I kind of see it a little bit, a snippet of it when I click on a recording. I don't actually get time to go through the comments. Um, but hi and thank you for putting all the lovely comments anyway. So I've done a video um, called um, Why Is It So Hard? I think in that video, it's in my playlist, um, Connected With The Laws Of Planet, which is about um, not understanding it, a, a couple of videos really about understanding the laws of the planet. So this video, I'm going to be talking about the principal law of cause and effect, which another, um, what most people know it is, is called karma. And this is connected to the title of the video called Middle, Bra Mid Middle Ground, sorry, because I state in my um, tower readings and in talk videos, um, you have to stop being in the middle uh, ground. So I want to kind of go into that a little more deep and explain why I state it a lot, because with this channel, I state facts of laws of the planet that you live on. But because I'm not like, for example, the amazing Annalise, Twin Flame Transformation, her channel is all about the laws of the planet. I simply know the laws of the planet plus about quantum physics. So on this channel, I literally tell you what is so. When I say what is so, it's not that if you believe me, it is an actuality fact of the planet that you live on. It is working if you believe me or not. But because I just say do this, do that, you don't always take take me seriously or you might take it for granted that I'm just stating my opinion. On this channel, I only state what I channel from 5D, which is the collective four twin flames, all that I know is so. It's never off my opinion. So I'm going to try to break down because like I say, I say encoded words like stop being middle ground. But when I state that is in a law. So I try to break it down for you guys to understand it, saying that, you know, pick, make a choice between a friend, between a family member, between your person, etc. But that, when I state middle ground, is connected with when I think about it it's not even it is so is what i'm channeling it's the um connected with the tree of life and kabbalah in the tree of life and kabbalah there's three pillars the pillar of severity the pillar of mercy then the middle pillar of balance the pillar of severity is the feminine it's the yin the pillar of um, mercy is the yang it's your person we are here the tree of life is how to what humanity is a reflection is a scientific is a scientific fact of the laws of the planet someone kind of broke it down and put it into this kind of scientific way of how this planet works that's what the tree of life is so that you understand you live on this earthly plane but there are other alchemical elements which people hear about magic it's not magic, it's science. It's, it's a, a proven factual law. But people call it magic. That's why the magician card, right? So the tree of life, Kabbalah, has these three pillars about balance. Now, the middle pillar, this is not to confuse with middle ground, is about how you're supposed to balance out your life. Now, connected with the laws of um, cause and effect, and there are several laws and I'm breaking down these this particular law, but Annalise Twin Flame Transformation goes through most of the laws in a program combined with my program to help you because as a Twin Flame, you are here to teach what I am teaching you. So humanity knows how to go back to their birthright state because we are born to simply abide by these laws. So when I say middle ground, you are supposed to be um, working out how to balance both pillars. Then you um, align in the middle pillar, which has four seven rods, but it's five. One is hidden, which is called Da, which is where the full card. Da is the birthing, the start of your understanding 
of you create your own reality. Let's just kind of say like, it's like that. So you are here on this earthly plane to live on this earthly plane, to experience this earthly plane, but then rise in conscious levels. Now, people that are extremely successful, they either know the laws of the planet or uh, and abide by them or accidentally um, abide by them without knowing and become successful. There are some people like that. Now, I hope she doesn't mind me uh, calling her out. There's people on my subscription list which I value 100% every single one of them there's not none over the well to be honest tim green is grand protector so <laughs> of planet earth and we are here to um help planet earth so obviously grand protector is the main person on my subscription list but i want to talk about amber hi amber if you're listening now i like amber a lot because amber is like me Amber is very out there, very loud. She swears, and you can tell she's uh, genuine and she's in the truth. Amber abides by the laws of the planet, and I don't think she actually knows she is doing this. But if you look at Amber, she is successful on her channel. She is raising actually in in success in her travel uh, on her channel, and she always states her truth. This is very interesting. And I want you lot to grasp this. The laws of the planet knows we are all individual. So long as we follow our own versions of truth and stick to what we think is best, abiding still by the laws of the planet, what you think is best for you through the laws of the planet, you will be abundant. So there's people that think and leave shitty comments, think that I'm uh, rude and all this sort of things, you know, I swear and all this kind of thing. And, you know, I'm against religion and stuff like that. But I know the laws of the planet. Most of the people that put stupid ass comments don't. So I fuck them off. Right. Same with um, Amber. Amber is amazing and I love her and I totally respect her and I back her 100 percent because I know she is doing what she feels to do best now not always 100 percent. most of the people on the subscription list except for tim green it is not my intention to ever tell tim green to do what to do the others i will help tim green is that that is set that is a 5d um thing for me not to interfere with tim green what he chooses to do but everyone else on my subscription list i will help so i will guide her as of everyone else on the subscription list um, that is Amber. But generally, generally, if I said it right, Amber does what she feels best. Now, if she was nasty and horrible and not abiding by the laws of the planet, her subscription list, her views, her money would be going down. The reason why people that you think, well, how are they out there so successful when they're fucking idiot is because... Some people abide by it um, regardless. They don't care if you think what someone else says is wrong or right. The law of the planet is so, it is set. And it is one, like, for example, not one law, but I want to explain a little bit in detail about the laws of cause and effect. So if you abide by that law, it is so that it will come to you, regardless, like I said, if you believe that it works, regardless if you don't believe or think that I am a horrible person, the law works if you abide by that law. Now, that law, um, I hopefully she doesn't mind uh, if um, I'm talking about her. But for example, with Amber England, please check out her channel. Oh, gosh, I forgot her channel name. Um, but um, what she does for, I'll give you an example of how it kind of works as an actuality and a scientific uh, way of how the laws of cause and effect works. Amber generally does every three to four weeks, she does an update reading with me. 
Now I have two versions of kind of update reading on my website. I have 50 pound image reading, which I can look at you and read inside of you because I know the laws of the planet. And so I know I can pull you into my reality. That's how I can read inside of you, which most will think is an, uh, it's a trick. It's, um, it's dark energies. It's, it's stupidness. It's a, you know, whatever. No, it's, I know the laws of the planet. So that's how come I can pull you in. And that I didn't know until I watched a film the other day, exactly how it worked. But anyway, so she picks the, the hundred pound, um, so I can read inside of her and do an image reading. Amber books me consistently like every three to four weeks. So she told me she was going to do that. Most people just chat shit, right? She told me she was going to do that and she has stuck to her word. So she knows that my program is helping her. So she places her trust in me because she, this is the physical way on this earthly plane of an actuality of how I am helping her and she is helping me. So because Amber is doing that, I go over my time, I chit chat on my video, I give a little extra tips and whatnot. I don't stick to a, a, a set time, which other towel readers, you get a towel reader for 20 minutes, to a hundred pound for 20 minutes, whatever, a question, 4,000 pound stupidness. No, that is not how it's supposed to be. So I give her until I uh, think I've done enough. My readings are not generally timed, but they're within a time. That's why I state the time. They're generally a certain time, but they're not timed. If I go over, I go over. So I give her an extension because she is a regular. It's not that she's a regular, so I'm trying to keep her because I know that she, I value her and she is not only on my subscription list, but I know that she's in her truth and that is what we are here to do as twin flames the truth of the law of the planet so i'll give her extra time but now she's been rebooking me i offered her to i uh, said to her when you book me what i will do is david's service is 120 pound so then i am giving 20 pound to david and giving her <laughs> david's service and i will do it for free because I know that my, because she's working on herself amazingly, I couldn't, I felt like I would be, for example, ripping her off if I'm just taking, taking from her. So I said to her, instead of pushing her to David, she will value from doing another service of offloading about other stuff because he is here to help you with all services right that you all things that you need to talk about in her life not just twin flame so but i will because she valued the the image reading and the tarot so i said i'll give that for free so there is her paying for me valuing me and as i value her i give back in essence that is the scientific laws of cause and effect why is it just um why is that so because the laws of cause and effect is about you giving and you don't give to receive amber did not give and know that i was going overboard with you were not overboard but you know going over my time speaking freely uh, when she does this reading and with the intention of getting david that's giving without receiving then david didn't know that i was going to give it to him but still, I miss out, you may think, because I pay now David, so I don't get paid for giving her the free reading. But I know the laws of the planet. The laws of the planet will give me in another way of abundance, such as which I may have had David turning up. I might have had an extra reading, a new customer booked me, someone, you know, rebooked me. It's not necessarily money, you see. I might have had, a, you know, uh, a... Uh, a bill less half you know it's less a water bill half this year something stupid like that that's how the laws of the planet works so what i want to talk to you about is the middle ground amber didn't go middle ground and think well what you know sophia's program's good so i'm just going to do the image reading that's called holding back that's middle ground she didn't say, well, I done it last month, so I'm not going to do it this month. She invested 100% fully in herself. When you're middle ground, the laws of the planet doesn't see it. This is what I want you to understand about the laws of cause and effect. 
Karma basically means when you give, you receive. It doesn't mean you expect a, uh, something to be received from that person. But like I state, the laws, whatever this is, consciousness, guides, 5D, all of them, God, whatever you want to call it, know that we live on this earthly plane. It's, they're not stupid. So they, you need to take action on this. So they have an expectation without the actuality of the law that you will give back to 100% to the person that gives to you 100%. So if I was middle ground, then she would be middle ground and it wouldn't work. This is why this channel is important, this community. So I am teaching the people on the subscription list how it works. So that is why for some of you who might think Amber is as blatant, I'll say she is blatant with me because she is like um, kind of um, swears and stuff like that. But that is why she is still successful and out there like as I am, because she abides by the laws of the planet, but I don't think she actually knows the cause and effect. And the cause and effects is one of the most important ones. They're all quite important, to be honest with you. They channel to me. But because of that's where most of planet um, humanity think about their pentacles. That's how you get um, abundant. This is another way of looking at it. So like people say in karma, oh, well, he's done bad to me. He will get it back. It does, it's not for you to think about that. What you are supposed to do is give. You give, you give, you give. I'm going to give an example. If you're new, you might not know. But I had someone on my subscription list. And if you're new, what I do is if you buy my program from anyone on the subscription list, I give my program to, but I kind of assess you first. But those on the subscription list, they have two of my programs to sell. My Twin Flame program and my Master program. And I give it to sell for the minimum cost, 111 And I promote them like how I am, not intentionally as a marketing scheme, how I've just promoted uh, Annalise Twin Flame Transformation about the laws of the planet and how I've just said about Amber. You will be promoted because you are important if you're connected on my subscription list. That's how I promote. So you know they are important. Not like the others and sitting here with Amber and we having a chit chat. That's not what it's about. I had someone who was on the subscription list but did not abide by my laws, which the laws which I made, but not in a solicitor's kind of law knowing that if she didn't abide by those or whoever doesn't i had a piece of paper i've got a video now in my playlist about what is needed for you to have the programs to sell the program she this person did not abide by the program so i cut her off now i know that person now is struggling I know that person now has gone back to how she was before. I know that person for a fact is not having their person on their channel, never will be on the channel until, until she changes and understands the law of the planet. Not what I state. This is what you lot don't understand who you're not investing in me. My program is not what I think. My thought form is the lowest energetic frequency over the laws of the planet, which is consciousness and them lot upstairs. Thought form is limited from one's limited being, although we are consciousness, yes. But still thought form is from belief systems, traditions, religions. My programs and what I state on here is from there, them lot, consciousness. So she thought she knew better than the actual law of the planet, hence why I know that she is failing because she didn't she went behind my back and started selling my program on multiple websites now why is that against the laws of the planet because it is greed the laws of the planet is so give to receive but i always state as well that you lot they state half truths you give you give you give and you know you will receive from the laws of the planet. But the actuality of the person that you are giving to, if they abide from the same law, law of the planet, should give fully 100% back to you 
anyway. Now, it doesn't mean that they have to be in a form of, say, you lot. I'm not telling you all lot to go now book 100% loads of, um, like Amber, constantly book update tower readings. There is Melanie, Twin Flame Healer. Now, she booked me the other day. She books me every now and again. But I know, such as Erica Eastbot and Jojo, who's on my subscription list, and such as Tim Green, that they absolutely value me. That is a form of giving. Whenever I speak to them, they say, we love you, we value you, thank you so much for your program. They don't have to give me money. I feel that 100% love from them when I speak to them. You have to give 100%. The middle ground doesn't work. That person, Raquel, who was on my subscription list, was middle ground. She donated here and there. She said she believed in me, but brought in other people. Hence why I tell you, it's nothing to do with me thinking, well, no, if you get someone else, then you're going to be talking to others and I'm going to lose being famous up in here because you're going to promote someone else. It's that you disvalue this person that is giving all 100% to you, that is making you, for example, successful by overriding that and taking advantage. That is not a law of the planet. It is also knowing common sense that you live off this planet. You look at who is helping you and you give to them. You give to them. There's also the fact that them locked upstairs, the laws of the planet, whatever, know that this belief system, this tradition, this, and all this kind of thing, you have family that you love. This is another way how to deal with. This is why I say, come away from them. You give, you give, you give. Don't be a middle ground. This is how the suggestion, but it is factual of the law of the planet, if you believe me or not. You give 100% to people that you think that you're loving, which you know they're not, right? You know underneath. You know, say I had a family member and I was giving and they was cussing me or giving me crumbs back or not fully investing, regardless, money, time, love, whatever, whatever the version is. It's not always of the money, the pentacle plane, albeit should be all. The more you give, the more you give back. You see, I give people on my subscription list love, um, abundance, you see. And money i give as much as i can that's why i am so successful so the more you give to a person who you feel you can try to teach as an example no words right or if they say why how are you successful and you show them don't place anything upon anybody i think that's in the fucking bible right but say yeah i've got a family member and i'm giving i'm giving i'm giving i'm giving love i'm giving money i'm giving time and they're literally giving half. Let's say half. There comes a point where upstairs just say to you, cut them off. It's for you to look for that tower moment, for that time, and you will know you've done your best. You don't just do it because of her, well, you know, um, Sophia said to do it. Here's why this works more effective. Because if you're going only halfway in and you're thinking, well, that family member, for example, I'll say my mum, right? My mum's a fucking nightmare. She only gives me a little bit or half, let's say half, right? So what I'm going to do, which this other people on the earthly third dimension will say, is, well, I only give back half, you know, try to work it out, cut back and blah, 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 right? But that will happen till you die. And what will happen is you won't be abundant and they won't neither because of the laws of the planet is not about middle ground. So if you fully invest in this person because you feel that you can't cut them off, right? Say, for example, my mum. OK, I'm going to try my best. No point talking to people. You can if you so chose, right? And try to because I explain things, laws of the planet to people and they look at me like I'm dumb. Although I'm like, how can you look at me like I'm dumb when you can see that I'm the most abundant person that most people know that I connect with, right? Financially happy, don't need no one, very independent. But they look at me when, how do you make it, Sophia? Well, I tell them and they look like, mm, no, I'll just go and do what the telly and other religious belief systems 
do and stay in their way over there. So what I would do is I'll just keep giving because I'm not at the point yet to pull back, right? Because I'm giving 100%, I will still be abundant here. So they would, it should be a point in time that that person will think, well, yeah, Sophia is always giving to me and she's not ever losing. She's always giving, but she's never, because they, they will make sure that you're abundant if you commit 100%. But then they will come up to you and say, right, OK, enough now. And you will have the cutoff point to then say, no, pull back. Like I said, if you're middle ground, it's like they will just allow you to be middle ground till one of you dies, to be honest with you. So they help you to make the choice to pull back and then you make the choice. Then you can move away from your friends and family. For example, I could, if I gave, 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 gave 100% to, say, my mum, and then I had this tower moment. I could pull away from my mum knowing I gave them my all. You see? Because you lot don't give your all. That's why you're always halfway in. This, ha this is the law, regardless if it's your mum, your dad, your auntie, your twin flame, Mr. Grand Protector, whoever. Your, your person, it doesn't matter. They have to, so I, this video is absolutely in connection with your person also. You have to give, give, give your heart, give financially, give whatever. Now, it doesn't mean you go, okay, well, I'm going to go now open up a, a bank account and, and let's do joint account. And then they just take from you. You give with boundaries, but the boundaries are not like, for example, because this is how they normally do it. I said, to, oh, it depends if you're new. Uh, I'm creating cards which are re nearly done. And uh, about a month ago, my bank account was, um, money was shut down. It was near Christmas. It wasn't great. But then this person who's created my tarot deck of cards said her dad, uh, sorry, her dog is um, ill. So... I, I felt for the dog, I read the dog, she showed me the picture of the dog, and I donated £500. Now, that's a lot of money, really, considering I didn't have no money in my bank because of um, that was my kind of change, backup money, um, and it was near to Christmas. But this is how I saw it. I thought to myself, well, I already, I already got everyone presents, and I didn't need anything, so... I knew that that bank money, I was going to make it back because I know the laws of the planet. So I donated as much as I felt possible. I didn't think, well, no, I'm really sorry. It's Christmas. Oh, no, really sorry. You know, um, my bank, I didn't tell her a long ass email that my, my bank has stopped. Both two accounts were closed at that time, suspended. No, I gave the max I give. You are supposed to give the max that you can give. You don't just pick, well, this is about setting boundaries. For example, I didn't give her all my money, but I figured it out while I had enough. I worked out while I bought the kids. I say kids, my son's big. I've got my um, nephew here. He's big, 22 and 27, but, you know, kids. <laughs> you know, I, I had everything all sorted. That's how you're supposed to do it. Generally, the other person is the tight fuck. I'll just be honest with you. Generally, the other person is, well, I gave her something the other day. I look for something cheap. I'll buy it when it comes to the end of the month. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to sit. It's simple. The laws of the planet is simple. You will know. That person should know they are helping you. Such as that person, Raquel, on the subscription list. If you was in this drama that happened with me and Raquel, it was clear how much money she made from me. And I can 100% guarantee she donated to this channel once. One out of the over £30,000 I gave to her. Is that about? I don't know. What, way over thousands of pounds. She donated about £111. Do you think that's the laws of the planet? Hence why I know that's why she's not going to be successful. So this is what I'm talking about when it comes to middle ground. I wanted to do this because of, like I said, I this channel is about, I state things, but it's the, I'm channeling that you lot need to understand the kind of um, 
the nitty gritties of it. So you have to make a choice. You have to make the choice because you are the example. So when you make a choice, the karma comes good or bad. Karma's not bad. It's good or bad. It's just that it's generally bad because most don't abide by the law to make it good, right? <laughs> so I have good karma always comes to me because I abide by the law of the planet. So then you're supposed to show the example to that person who's being a tight fuck. I'll be honest. They're generally tight fucks. But what they generally do is think, oh, I've got this person over here giving, giving, giving. So I'll go and do my still my third dimensional way and try to take, take, take of someone else or stay in their old ways. Not appreciating the person that's giving. Then they stay over there. But that's not for you to do. Um, like I said, then the laws of the planet will make you feel at ease to let that person go. But you have to invest 100%. Don't worry about that person or well, now they're going to be skin and now they're going to be, or they should have learned their lesson or whatever. That's down to them. It's not like they don't know. They're not stupid. They know that you are giving. They know they are holding back. They know they are being tight. You're supposed to give like as if it's your child. I give to people in this community as if I give the same to my child. That's the law of the planet because we are all one. It's not like, oh, well, my children are more better than um, Amber England, for example. We're all one. We're all consciousness. So that's like, you know, uh, saying this hand is better than that hand. You're supposed to give. So if someone I was giving to said, well, you know, it's my kid's birthday. Like I said, with the money for the dog that was ill, you know, oh, it's Christmas and my bank, you're not supposed to. That person will use for birthday, so I couldn't give and all that thing. You don't make excuses. The laws of the planet don't see excuses. The laws of the planet saw that this woman came to me to ask for money. They didn't care. I didn't go to the laws of karma, give me a squeeze this month because if it's Christmas. They see either or. You donate the max and then, and then you take the time out to figure it out what to give. So this is about give in. And understanding the laws, like I said, this is about as well, um, Twin Flame, Transformation and Elise. This is about you doing what is best for you. This is about also not um, judging others because they will learn in their own time anyway. Just let them go. You might get pissed off with them. You might cuss them out. But then eventually you just let them go. And you look, that's when you they say things like let them learn their own karma. They will learn their own karma, which is the principal law of cause and effect. And if they stay over there, and they, that's why people come back in life uh, and, and redo it again, because they don't understand the laws of the, of the planet, you see. So they come because the laws of the planet is for you to experience it. This birthright sovereign being, we was born with everything within us, which as within, which is a law, as within, so without. So you know you have intuition, internal compass, insight, uh, inner knowing, everything within works without. We are the micro, the small. Without is the macro, the planets. The planets are the laws of, the, or of this planet. So you work as within, so without, with your internal compass, your intuition and all that, knowing the laws of the planet. That's why Annalise's program is so fucking amazing. And, oh gosh, hopefully I don't forget. That's why her program is so amazing. If you are on one of these people, you are here as a teacher. Tell people, put in the comments, I am on her program, this works, buy her program. Because this person who ripped me off, who took all my uh, programs and tried to be greedy, she was a master advertising as well, uh, uh, advertising. So she was making multiple other channels in the background, try, using different names, trying to get more money out of my program, right? And lying to people, which is another lie, um, law of the planet, because they know how you feel inside. Like I said, it doesn't matter about whose truth. As so long as you abide by your truth inside and the laws outside, they figure out whose truth's truth, right? If Amber went over there and said something about, and she said, oh, I don't believe in what Sophia said about the laws of the planet, am I going to go and cuss her out? No, that's what she believes. Do you see what I mean? But 
if she does something against me, yes, I will cuss her out. Do you see? If she doesn't believe me, then that's up to her. You know, opinions are different. So if you then advertise, this is about a knowing common sense. I state to you, when you book me, you get my uh, book. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a fluffy title. Now, I named it a fluffy title. Twin flame, it's got swans on and all this kind of thing. Because I wanted it to be successful on uh, Amazon. And it is actually on Amazon. I don't tell people to go and buy it on Amazon. Why? Because it ain't enough. I don't tell you that. Obviously, I can say go buy my book on Amazon. It's way cheaper than the actual program. But I am to guiding you to something that won't get you in union with your person. That's why I don't promote it. You see, I know the laws of the planet. But my point, the title of the book was fluffy because, not because of I was, it was a marketing strategy. We are here as twin flames to hit, uh, target as many people as possible to get you into your sovereign being. So the marketing strategy was to get more twin flames so I can give them the truths of the planet, not for me to be a, a financially abundant. So when someone takes my shit who is financially abundant enough, because I make you successful enough that you don't need to do any stealing, cheating, lying or marketing, you simply, I can promote you enough so you will be financially okay, right? But that in itself is the law of karma, then you will be more successful, hence you rise. If you notice and you're on this channel, you'll see my views are always generally within the lowest. Because the upstairs guide my subscription, my views, because if I was massive like the others that don't know the laws of the planet, manipulate you, use marketing tactics and shit like that, I will be dead with so many people on uh, booking me i don't post regular because of i try to because i know people watch and stuff like that so i try to post but not as many because when i post um, a lot of um posts i get three to four bookings a day and look at my views and i've been on here a year and a half so they the laws of the planet guides me like I said, if someone came on new and they saw thousands of views, they would they would naturally book me because of we are off this third dimensional plane. So you don't have to like figure things out as such, but you have to use your common sense at the same time. So yes, promote yourself, and yes, you are a teacher. That's why I, say, I don't need to promote Annalise. I don't need to say about Tim Green, Amber England, but I know that they will help people. You are a twin flame. So this is what you can do to help. If your program is brilliant, write in there that I've brought this program. Because you lot email me and say, I've brought Annalise's program and it's amazing. I know it is. <laughs> because she's amazing and she's doing about what I talk about. So I know it will work. There's nothing on this channel that I sell to you. Everything I state on this channel, everything when you book me, I state simply to help you. This is the law of the planet and this is why I'm successful. This is why the others are not. I state as well that I want to come away. For example, Tony Robbins. He genuinely thinks what he is teaching will help others. But he is not going about teaching of the laws of the planet. That is why he is successful. That is why when others say things and you think, oh, well, they're wrong or they're incorrect, it doesn't matter. It's so long as you think you're in your truth from it. He, I've listened to his story. He said he felt he was listening to some program and it was reprogramming him. And then he went out and he was active and that's why he jumps up and down. But it doesn't work for everybody. It's far easier to just to follow the laws of the planet and your internal compass. Do you see what I mean? But because he thought it worked, that's why he's successful, because the laws of the planet is so to him. Do you see? If the other people that he was successful to then used his program in conjunction with, because I started off with Tony Robbins' program, but I felt it didn't resonate with me. Some of this, that, no, really, that 10%. But it was a springboard kind of thing. So I kind of went on to other things. So hopefully this has got kind of loads of information about middle grounds. 
you have to make a choice start off by you don't need to um think if it's my person you know you're the twin flame i always state that get emails what if i'm not a twin flame what if them what if my twin flame you don't check for twin flame if you're not a ch twin flame if you've got a pain in your shoulder you wouldn't youtube pain in your shoulder unless <laughs> you had a pain in your shoulder soulmates generally don't know about twin flame so if you're searching for twin flame stuff you generally are a twin flame that is all that you need to know you don't need to know about your person like i said you just need to know the twin flame contract you need to get off your ass be in your teaching self and do what you're here to do which is mission you don't worry about what your person's doing you don't worry about anything of that you just follow yourself you follow what's inside of you regardless what other people are saying what they're doing this is here, all them diversions with people and all this with Raquel and all this other stuff that happens is because we are the teachers and we are here to just avoid that and know that everyone is individual. So I don't go into any other communities because I just happy with self. I just simply make it to help you lot and then you work on yourself. That's it. So um, hopefully this is OK. I don't want to go off too much. So make the commitment. If you're struggling with friends and family, it's like give as much as you can fully and then you'll be like, no, that's enough. I've done my all. I'm out. I've given as much as I can. Then either that person will come towards you or they don't. But you will come to the point where you can walk away. This is what you, this is what the trouble is. You lot try to, well, I won't talk about my person to my family because they don't like it or, you know, I won't talk so much. I try to cut back so much when I see friends and family. It's not about that. You invest or you don't. Laws of the planet, either or. Hot, cold, in, out, whatevers. And as a twin flame, you are influencing that person. So if they are not choosing, regardless if you say to, say, your cousin Mary, who keeps taking money from you, right? I am a twin flame. So you should know, they know, because we are energetically the highest frequency of this planet. So they are not stupid, they know. They should invest back. It's, it's common sense. Someone gives you 50, it doesn't matter if they have less money, you are giving your rule. Do you see? Everyone looks at me, oh, you're so successful, and da, 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 da. I say to them, this is why. I make it clear, and then I give. And then they come back because they're not doing abiding the laws of the planet. And then I give and then I cut off. I'm out. Hopefully you make sense of this. Um, so invest fully to your person. Commit fully to the people around you. And then, like I said, then when you have enough, you have enough. Speak to you later.